you're on with Big J. Let's talk. You know what time it is. Well, good morning. We're excited to bring you sports news and information. We thank you for those who are listening to our channel, those who are a part of and who have subscribed. If you have not yet, hit that red button to subscribe. Also, hit that bell so you'll be notified of content when we do upload. We want to say thank you again for being a part of Big J. Let's talk. Well, you know what? Today, I want to talk about the New York Knicks. Here's my opinion. A lot of individuals are sleeping on the Knicks. You know, I, I, I'm going to say this again. I love the Charlotte Hornets. LaMelo Ball is one of my favorite players. But we said we'll bring you sports news and information. Okay, so what I want to talk about today are the New York Knicks. And here's the possibilities of them going at least to the second round. And I see it. I'll tell you why. They are built for balance. They are built. That is a rugged team. This is why Stephen A. Smith talks the way he does about the Knicks. They are one of the most rugged teams in the East. They are not your regular flashbang team that's going to come out prima donna style and give you points and give you a win. They are built with balance. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's what a lot of people don't talk about or mention. When you look at this team from one, so let's say one through seven, each one of these players can go the entire game. Forget the minutes right, forget the points right now, but each one of these players can go the entire game. Julius Randle, 43 minutes. Um, Reggie Bullock, three-pointer, 26 minutes. Um, uh, Robertson, Mitchell Robertson, 28 minutes. R.J. Barrett, 44 minutes. Derrick Rose is the only one because of age, but he's still producing. So when you look at it and you have a team who's not in and out the bench and they still can run, they're good at their defense and they still can run with teams which are fast. So what that, what, what that coach is doing, he's actually building a diverse team to where their defense and offense are not predicated on the bench. It's based on their ability to stay on the floor and do what's necessary to succeed. That's balance. If you notice in all our shows, I talk about one thing. A team must be balanced. A team has to be balanced. Watch this. And R.J. Barrett got what he needed. What did he need? He was already a great player. He just needed the right tools. He and Zion were ballers at Duke. He just needed the right things around him. And what pieces were those? Julius Randle and Derrick Rose. They make a big difference. New York should be excited because they have captured and bring, brought things back that were a part of New York. Bright lights, city, sports, the mecca of entertainment. Come on now. You, have, you don't have to just be a Knicks fan, but it's a part of a celebration of sports because that's where so many things took place, so many great boxing matches. So much took place in New York, and now they're bringing it back. I'm telling you, they made the right moves and the right people to understand. He studied with Carmelo Anthony on his moves. He also studied with Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant taught him one move. He taught him a few ways how to defend. And look at the kid, man. Look at the cat. Unless you are a LaMelo Ball who are born with the intangibles and gifted to play the game, I applaud Julius Randle. He went beyond the court and sought help to perfect his game. Now look at him. Three-point, mid-range jumper. He can go to the hole. He can go to the basket. And, and he can play defense. What else are you going to get? Where are you going to get that better? I had someone say it, and he was right. One of our subscribers said that, you know what? On any other team, um, Julius Randle would be a 15-point-a-night guy. But I, I don't see that. I, I think you have to surround him with pieces to where he can be the man. 
because I believe that's why the Lakers drafted him because they saw something. And now what they saw is starting to come into fruition. But you have to remember, the Lakers are not built to take Lonzo Ball, Julius Randle, Brandon, Brandon Ingram, and develop them. They're, They're built not to win championships. Them. When? Now. You could be a dynamic player, a great player. Because they trade you, that does not mean you didn't have value. Neither does it mean you weren't good. It's just that they don't have time to develop you. When Julius came back from the injury in his leg, and he came back and he was getting together and getting things together. They just didn't have time. But when he went to a place and is at a different place now, and there were time to develop him, I watched him during the offseason work on his shot, work on his footwork. This is something that just didn't happen overnight. He was critiquing his strategy as far as his skill to get better and to become a great player. I believe in the next two years, you will see a MVP caliber type of player in Julius Randle. R.J. Barrett, you will see an all-star very soon. Derrick Rose is the glue because he has the understanding of how to win and compete. He knows what it is to be certain things that other people have never appreciated or reached within the scope of the NBA. He's been there. So what am I saying? The New York Knicks. I understand Stephen A. Smith. Folk better look out and don't take this three-headed monster as a joke. Because what I'm seeing, they're balanced. And they're built for the playoffs. And their defense, you know who the coach is. You know. So, guess what? I think we might see some upsets in the first round. Again, that's my opinion. What say you? But I say... I think we're going to see some upsets in the first round. I can't wait until the playoffs start. We have a few more games to go, seeding to go than the play-in tournament, but I cannot wait. The excitement is building. I'm pumped. I'm excited. I'm so tonight, to don't miss that Charlotte Hornets and the Bulls game is going down because if they come out balanced tonight, Chicago doesn't have a chance. They don't. They don't have a jam. Hey, thank you for being on with us again today. You know what time it is. If you have not done it yet, hit that red button that says subscribe. We do appreciate you. We're telling you. Also, hit that bell so you'll be notified when we upload new content. If you want us to talk about your team, make sure you put it in the like or the comment. Again, we truly appreciate you. Have an amazing day. Our subscribers, we asked to get to 2,000. We're getting there. Thank you.